no longer allowed in another world is an animated series based on a manga written by Hiroshi Noda and published by Shoko Kuken. The series revolves around the main character, Sensei, who is a gloomy author that has recently made a suicide pact with his girlfriend, but before they could go through with it, they are both hit and killed by a truck. Well, this anime is going to be cheering and probably taken off YouTube. Sensei then wakes up in another world after being summoned by an elf priestess by the name of Annette. Annette has summoned him to save the world by becoming a hero and taking on and defeating the Dark Lord. Sensei responds to this call for help with complete uninterest to the point that he commits suicide there and then. After Annette revives him, she falls in love with him because of this difference in attitude compared to the other heroes. Heroes. After being stopped from taking his life and uninterested in that, he just gets up and leaves. On the outside, he meets a cat girl being attacked by a tree monster, but he doesn't care about helping her. The universe then maybe answers his wish because the tree grabs him and drains his life, only for it to get poisoned and dies instead. Having the universe fail to take his life, he returns to Annette while keep ignoring or interrupting the cat girl named Tama. Sensei, having failed again and again to end his life, decides he wants to find his girlfriend so they can complete their suicide pact. I don't know how. The two girls often travel with him, so he sleeps in a coffin and makes them pull it. This anime is really not nice to a person with severe mental health issues. I really don't want to make light of it, but I can't help but want to tell Sensei just to cheer the F up. So the anime continues with the cheery Cheerio travelling the lands to bring chaos and suicide attempts to the masses. This world is so screwed. I like the characters and the idea of the story, but both are taken way too far to be interested in what happens, to the point of being frustrated. The sound design and acting are all done well, the art is just fine but doesn't stand out much. The sound design and music are used well to create a gloomy atmosphere as well as the fantasy world. Lastly, the acting brings out the variety of characters and their emotional struggles. The series that this series most resembles is Undead Unluck, with both being about a very unhappy person getting dragged around the place. 